Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Ignite series and the Bullring. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my qualifying lap as usual. So with this track you want to basically get all the way to the wall and then enter in between the two dashed lines. Uh, you see there's these lines that show the lanes kind of. You want to like get right to that line and then get to the apex of the corner and then bring it up to the top of the track. So there, touch those lines, get to the apex all the way to the bottom, then bring it back up to the wall, and then dive down again right above that line, get to the bottom, and then bring it back up to the wall. The only problem was, I totally messed up that lap because of, as you can see what I did there, I hit the wall. That is one problem, if you get too low, it makes the car get tight, I think and it's also easy to get on the gas a little bit too early because you really want to get on as early as possible so because of that it wound up making my lap really bad that made me qualify fourth though which wasn't too bad and you can see I was only about a two tenths off the leader or a tenth off the leader which uh, it wasn't that bad so let's go ahead and get into the race now so here we are in the race I'm not going to talk that much You'll see everything yourself. The outside line doesn't really work here, so you want to dive down to the bottom as soon as possible, which luckily I was able to do. You just seen the leader there hit the wall. So that guy pretty much didn't defend for me at all, which let uh, he let pretty much let me into the, his inside. So now I'm pretty much gonna get past him fairly easily, and that'll bring me up to third place now. And now I just gotta stay consistent and keep up with this 1 and 2 car and then I should be able to get a good finish. Now right about now I'm starting to be faster than the two car, so I'm going to hopefully try and get past him. That four car is really pushing it in deep into the corner. The problem with that is that's a good method for passing. The problem is it's going to really wear down your tires on this track. And in the Legends cars, once your tires are worn down, you really can't do anything. Now right there, my exit was really bad. That allowed him to get on my inside. Which, as you can see, I can't really do anything from here anymore. All I could really do was pinch him down, but then I got really loose there, and now I'm fighting for 5th position, fighting to keep 4th. Uh, he's on the inside, I'm definitely going to lose it now, unless he messes up. That big huge wreck at the top. Fell into 5th position now, that was because I really wasn't, I didn't pay attention, got my exit bad. I know I can. De I could have definitely won this race had I qualified better and had I uh, kept myself more consistent and focused. This is the 9 p.m. race, by the way, in case you're wondering.
I'm definitely running way lower than everybody else is. There I went really, really low. You don't wanna, definitely don't want to go any lower than that because those yellow things are really slippery. So here now I'm really diving it into the corner. I really need to pass this guy. He's not really pinching me down enough, and that's kind of giving me enough room to get a good exit, which is letting me catch up to him. But right there, I messed it up. I could have passed him there. You can see I'm definitely starting to catch the third place car, I believe that's what it is.
That seven car is really diving it in deep now. So it wasn't that much of a battle because I was pretty much up to the pace of the leaders. So I finished second. Couldn't really catch up to first because I was slow in the beginning, but they wore down their tires too fast, so I caught them. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys at Stafford.